Hey, what's going on everybody? January flowers to your favorite homegirl. And yes, if you're checking me out, then you know we stepping into the world of Krishan and Blueface. Now let me tell y'all something. This straight out the gate. Um, to me, this was a test sampler. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. I'm going to check out next week by the way this episode ended. But I have a lot to say, and I really don't know how people are going to feel about it. But it is what it is at one point. I got to keep life real. So let's go straight into it. Um, first of all, I'll speak on a lot of positives about the show. This is a review, but it may be a slight rant. I hope it's not. I'm going to try not to make it a slight rant. But if it is, then it is what it is at one point. Um, It's documentary style. There are no confessionals. That's something new for Zeus. It is a lot of things that are the same about Zeus, a little repetitive about Zeus, but overall, it's giving a fresh, a breath of fresh air in some instances, okay? So the beginning of this episode, we get a lot of comments from the blogs and like people commenting on Krishan and Blue's situation, their relationship, things like that. That's the beginning part of the episode. That's how they break it down. So as it begins, we see Krishan and Blueface in a Sprinter van and they're in New York City. Um, they've been invited to Fashion Week and they're gonna participate in that. So in the beginning part, we see them on the bus kind of playing around, talking about their relationship. Once they get off the bus, we see them go into this fur store. They try on furs and things like that. Um, Krishan gets emotional. Let's comment on it. Now, throughout this video, I may pause to comment. I am an analytical queen. I look at the deeper issues. Just so we can know. I know some people are not into zodiac signs, and some are. It is what it is. I happen to be someone who who's into it. Do I believe it's 100% concrete? No, I do not. I believe any sign can work with any sign. Hey, it's definitely possible. Blue face is an air sign he's an aquarian man some people say he's a capricorn but i believe he's an aquarian i'm not sure i'm a capricorn so i don't know if he fully give me that but he gives more of the aquarian sign now krishan is a pisces that's a water sign now we're gonna start there throughout this whole episode homegirl is very emotional um i have a lot of water sign friends i'm surrounded by a lot of water water in my family water in my friends group but the one thing that I don't have experience on is the relationship part of a water sign outside of a friendship or family. I've never attracted an aquatic man. That's how I can relate so much to Krishan's feelings as an aquatic sign female. She's a Pisces. If you guys don't know, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio are aquatic zodiac signs. So they tend to come off, you know, like I knock you out. But their emotions are right there, okay? So I understand that she gets very emotional and you see that blue face is very nonchalant. Pay attention to that. When they were in the first store, she got emotional because she felt like blue face, I guess, wasn't taking it serious. So he jokingly asked the guy in the store to give them a wedding proposal, just a fake wedding scene. So Krishan cries and stuff like that, gets very emotional. So the next stop, they go to the venue to do rehearsals for the fashion show. So, Krishan says she wants them to walk together. That's how she wants to go. But Blueface is joking. So, he wants to see her walk first. He said, let me see your walk first and then I'll do my walk. She said, I want you to walk with me. She starts to get emotional. That's when she said, you know what? If you're scared, if you're afraid, then just say that. Just say that. I'll go first. So, Krishan takes the lead. She walks. She does her thing. Mind you, y'all. Krishan's breasts are completely exposed. Just imagine Krishan wearing this black blazer, but there's nothing underneath. Titties loose. This is the whole first half of the episode. She just has on this black like jacket. Titties loose. I'm not even sure she had pasties on underneath. I would at least put on some pasties if my titties loose. I'ma at least put some. You see what I'm saying? Okay, let's keep going. So then, um, it's Blueface's turn to walk. He does his practice walk and he's flirting. He's like blowing kisses to the ladies and like dancing like that and stuff. You know, getting everybody and up. Uh, you know, people excited. Krishan becomes emotional. She said, why are you playing with me like that? 
blowing kisses and stuff like that. He like, Krishan, come on. She says she doesn't want to do it anymore. She starts to cry. So that's when Blueface says, pour us up some shots. And that's when somebody gets him some shots. And she said, why you want me to drink? That starts an argument. Um, I'm not sure how that be, that gets diffused. I think they start, they, she started yelling at him in front of these people and stuff. But I believe the next scene, if I'm not mistaken, is them at the hotel. Because the very next day, yeah, they had to do some press releases. So I'm going to say that that's what happened that night. So after they leave the rehearsals, the next day is press day for the um, fashion show. So Krishan and Blueface are going to different radio stations doing interviews and stuff like that. And I have to say the game has changed. They're very relaxed. They don't seem nervous in these interviews. They were even rolling up trees in the interviews and things like that preparing for tonight. Krishan does a performance on a radio station and I believe it wasn't rehearsed. This isn't shit. This is just what I seen with my eyes. It was very sloppy. I wasn't impressed. Um, if it was on a spot, then that explains it. Um, I don't know what that performance was given, but like I said, I wasn't impressed. Blueface didn't perform. They wanted Krishan to perform. And that's funny. When they were at the fur shop, the fur owner said that the Blueface, he said, yeah, my, he said he got five female co-workers. He was like, they know you, but they said, he said they love her. Like he said, his, his female staff love Krishan. That's what the guy was saying. So at the radio station, they was, you know, loving her. They call her the BMO queen. Shout out to Baltimore. Yes, we're going to talk about that. And um, it was all good. So that later on that night, after they do the press, that's when they do the photo, sh I mean, the um, fashion show. We get a cameo by Natalie Scotty. Then we get a cameo by celebrities Mano and Jim Jones. But they try to blur out their face because if you guys remember, and if you're familiar with my channel, I covered the tea that a fight broke out that night. So Mano, I think, was originally going to be in it. But after the fallout with Zeus, they blurred Mano and Jim Jones out. But if you know their bodies and their frames, you know who they are. So after the fashion show, Krishan and Blueface come to Baltimore. Y'all know New York right up the street. They come down to Baltimore and they're going to meet Krishan's family, okay? Krishan's really emotional about this. Shook and stirred. She was crying on the ride to Baltimore. The next morning they woke up, she was very emotional. She was asking Blueface, like, how do you feel about this? You know, you're going to be meeting my family. He said, I meet new people every day. It's another day for me. So, of course, Krishan got emotional. She, I'm telling you, I, she got emotional. He's not going to take stuff the same way she did. And let me tell you something. Not every sign is the same. But just knowing a little bit of background, he would never... Take a lot of the information she gives him the way she's going to, quote unquote, want him to. So a lot of the tears she sh she sheds, I feel like could be saved. Because if you've learned him, then you know him and you know he's not really going to care about that stuff. But let's move on. So once they get to Baltimore, she's trying to locate her family and get them down there. Now, I'm going to tell you all some tea for people who are not street savvy and people who just don't know the game. There is one of Krishan's sister. Her name is Tessa. Tessa arrives downtown. They were in National Har um, Harbor East. Sorry. They were in Harbor East at the hotel that's over there. Some of y'all know it. Harbor East. And her sister arrives there first to meet Krishan. She wants everyone to meet Blue. She's very excitable about this. But she doesn't know where everyone is. Everyone's taking long. People are missing. Things like that. Tessa shows up. Mm-hmm. So when Tessa shows up, Tessa is like outside and that's when Krishan gets off the bus. She's like, that's my sister. So as soon as her and Tessa hug, Tessa immediately bust into a prayer. And I felt that. I was like, I needed that damn prayer. She was asking God to cover her little sister and watch over her baby sister. So Krishan walks Tessa back to the bus. And um, that's when Blueface says, oh, you Tessa, you the one who taught her how to cook. And Tessa like looks around and stuff, somewhere to put her purse on the bus. And then she's like, yes, they call me Chef Tess and stuff like that. But she wasn't really engaging with him, which I can respect. From a family point of view, they're going to look at him as a degradation of a man. Because it gives that he brought her completely down. Let's keep going. Tessa gets a phone call. And I think she either had it on speaker or something, or she verbalized what was said. But basically, they were saying, why are you with them? C 
come off the bus because they said Tessa where you at she said I'm sitting on the bus with Krishan and um, Blue Thief they said come off you can't be around them right now this is Krishan's family Tessa gets off the bus and Krishan's looking around like you know what's going on why why y'all telling her to get off the bus what's going on and stuff like that so Krishan ends up calling I think either her mom or her sister she called somebody just to ask them what was going on right y'all so Krishan's telling the camera crew they moving funny she said yo she said it's about to be a scene they moving funny it's about to be a scene we need to get out of here she said we need to get out of here we need to get out of here blue face looking around camera and crew think it's a joke let me tell y'all something for people who didn't get that or don't understand that. It's a reason they didn't want Tessa on that bus with Krishan and Blueface. Because if something went down, they didn't want Tessa to get involved in the mix. You gotta understand that. They trying to look out for somebody on that bus and at that time it was Tessa. So when Krishan said to the camera people, y'all it's about to get active and stuff like that, she already knew. I don't want to say it's a black family thing, it's a hood thing, it's a Baltimore thing. I think it's just like a, a knowledge thing. You know what's going on. So no one wants to leave. They don't move the sprinter. Blueface gets off the bus and he's talking to a security person, a guy. And he's like, yeah, you know, she just feeling some type of way about the situation. Krishan gets into one of the cars that the security guys are driving, I guess, and drives off. She said, no, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. And that's where the episode ends. We get a clip at next week, and it shows that Krishan busts a Yui and comes back and picks up Blueface, and they go to the bowling alley. And she does eventually meet up with her family, and that's where we get the infamous fight be between Blueface and Krishan's father. But I'm going to tell y'all something. I noticed something that I hadn't seen in the T video I covered months ago when they were filming. I covered this story. Oh, yes. I didn't know Krishan jumped in. Yes, yeah, she jumped in to help Blue. I never noticed it. In tonight's episode, I noticed that she was swinging on her dad with blue face. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. This episode was very slow for me. It was very hard for me to even... I'm going to be honest. I was like, I'm going to tell them because I feel like people want me to watch this. But it was very slow. Nothing really happened until the end. But I do kind of want to see next week because I just can't believe it. Like... And it's funny, this episode started off with Krishan making a joke with Blueface about her fighting his family. And he was like, how would you feel in that situation? She was like, I've never been in it. Oh, she did. She was like, I'm going to fight him. I think, yeah, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But I think at the beginning, he was like, what would you do? And she was like, yeah, I'm riding with you, daddy. It's not... Girl, something like that she was saying. I, one thing about that daddy stuff, I'm not... Well, wait a minute. Let me say it. Uh, I don't know. i call him that if he give me a reason to. But it is what it is, y'all. Um, I'm watching this for y'all. Y'all know I, I really got y'all back. Because I just didn't know what it was bringing to the table. It's, it's a different style. Yes, for Zeus. So, I can applaud them for that. Them not having any confessionals and stuff, it's different. It's like a documentary style. We'll see. I'm going to, I'll at least watch up to three or four episodes before I really, if I decide if I want to clock out. But you guys, let me know what you thought about tonight's episode. What impressed you? What stood out to you? Um, are you going to continue watching? <sighs> and do the best you can with what you got. Okay. I don't know what this is going to bring, but I guess this show basically just gives a, a deeper look into the scope of Krishan and Blueface's relationship. One thing I can say, and one thing I can't deny, that girl got fans. Every And I don't know if it was for Blueface. Let me stop playing. I was going to say, I don't know if it was for Blueface or her. I really do think these, because every radio station they went to, when Zeus showed the windows, it was people like, waiting outside, you know, it's the vibe, all the time, wanting to get photos and stuff with her and stuff like that. TMZ stopped them in this episode. Child, I don't remember this stuff happening to Blue before the Kashan. No shade. I just don't remember it. I don't remember Blueface getting this before the original Sean. So y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Stay locked to the channel. And remember this. Do the best you can with what you got. And I'll see you in the next video.